super chat. You made a point previously saying that you can't be 5'8 and an alpha. I never said that, and I don't think anyone here has said that, because I'm going to give a quick shout out to a boy of mine in a second. I'm 5'9. What do you think shorter guys should attain to be? Obviously not betas. Now, oh, we were speaking 10 minutes ago this. about a very good friend of ours. Shout out to my boy, Prince. My homeboy, yep. who is yep. a G. 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 And he's what, 5'7"? Turbo G. Turbo G. We were literally discussing this an hour ago in our own private conversations. So, Justin, I know you're the second tallest here. You're the same height as Andrew. Yep. So, I, yeah, I, tell, I actually have a really strong opinion about this. this because I think a lot of guys give up at like 5'8", 5'9", 5'10", all this bullshit. Bro, listen. If I was 5'8", living in Indiana today, mm -hmm. I would go to the gym get a good job, handle my fashion, handle fitness, handle all these different things. And look, you will be, I like to say, happier than a dog with two dicks with your three, seven girlfriend. You don't need a 10. Plus, I'll tell you another thing about a 10. There's shit to be around. A hard work. You could have three tens and uh, three sevens in Indiana and probably be just as happy or, or if not more happy than if you had three tens. And, and three sevens is 21 anyway, so that's Yeehaw. better than most dudes with a 10. Yeah, with your King Ranch Ford. Quit fucking crying. Do it, bro. Because most men, most any men, would take three girls that were amazing to them, want to be around them all the time. And, and Like, dude, being short is not a reason to quit at all. And Prince is a great example of that because he he's not tall, but he is literally maxed out everything from fitness fashion style he fuck he does stuff for me yeah he's a war in business yeah. bro he's a war room guy he, he's truly legit he's he's a shining example of the short guy that's a pussy he is screaming fuck you by his actions yep but he it, is not crying about it yeah correctly but another way to view the world it's just a wrong way to view the world we every man understands you shouldn't be complaining about things you cannot change you have to play the cards you're dealt yeah. i can't be a cowboy right Justin's a cowboy, right? <laughs> I can't be an Australian. Sterling's an Australian. I can't be a dickhead. Tristan's a dickhead. <laughs> you, have to, you have to accept your role and you have to play it, right? Yep. To be born a certain height and then to sit there and go, what do I do? Well, I'll tell you what you do. You become the best version of yourself, just like everyone else does. We're all born. Okay, let's say we were all blessed with height at this table. We still had to become the best version of ourselves. If I was only six foot three and didn't achieve any of the other things I've achieved, None of you would be watching this podcast right now. True. Nothing about the height is is mm. is is in and of itself enough value for me to be a valuable man. As a man, you build your value. You are born with the cards you're dealt. Sure, it'd be ideal. Look, I'd love to be seven foot tall. I'm not. So it's the same argument. You can only become the best version of yourself. And to sit there and to constantly complain about it mm -hmm. is a feminine frame. If you're five foot two, you need to become rich, strong, Jack, well connected. Yeah and funny and charismatic and interesting and witty. If you're six foot four, you need to become rich, strong, well-connected. It's the same game. So to sit there and complain about it is asinine. In fact, asinine is the word of the day. 